Hello everybody, this is the Millennium Frisbee, and I am back with more Spyro 3 Let's Play. And in this episode, I am going to enter the Frozen Altars, which is one of the more unique episodes in this one, or not episodes, but levels, in that in this one, instead of using your Flame Breath... Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies... I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. That's right. You get Ice Breath. Yes, in this one you get Ice Breath instead of Flame Breath, which can be kind of annoying for some enemies, but for a few others it actually is pretty fascinating, like uh, Frozen... Well, I don't know, I'll get to that in a minute, but you can actually freeze non-playable characters, which can get pretty funny. And... Yes, we also have little mini-mammoths that you can burn with a laser. <laughs> and instead of just disintegrating, they pop like a balloon. And also, I probably won't be using this uh, laser thing all too often because... Even though it is a cheap way of killing some of the enemies, it, some of them do move a little too much, so you have to be careful. So I would say you only use it if you really want to, or if you have a lot of time on your hands, but since I'm trying to do a let's play, and that requires a lot of uh, speed running and whatnot, I think I probably will just ignore it a few times. I think the skill point has gotten here. Oh, that's right. You need to use those lasers in order to pass on. I completely forgot. How silly of me. Uh, well, I was, I was trying to say, I think you get the skill point here by either doing something in one of the little mini areas or by destroying those uh, little piles of coal that I just destroyed a second ago, like right there. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering this, but why is it that my uh, gym count is uneven like it was before I got the power up. Well that is because I, like I said before, I'm thinking of pretty much getting uh, gems off screen. And since I know how to power up it isn't a problem. There's a flame breath in action. You just use it on giant enemies and then use the charge attack in order to uh, defrost them and then they just die. Very convenient. And it leads to some very funny commentary from some NPC character from an NPC character in a minute. But uh, right now I'm still trying to get through this part. And you also destroy giant snowmen. This is taking a little bit though. There we go. He's dead. This area also has kind of a very annoying way of getting some gems and one egg, which I will show even though it is 100% necessary, I don't think. And I think there's... Ah. Uh, frozen Mammoth, anyone? Guess not. Now here's where the NPC character's commentary is pretty funny. It would be easy to get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yes. Yeah. And then, if you talk to him again... Purr. I don't know why, but I feel really cold. Of course it was. I just froze you half to death. It was a miracle that you lived. And no, I am not evil. I'm just insane. <laughs> And he killed me in the process. Great. Oh well. At least I got my monies. I got me my monies! And I don't care. Stop doing that. Yeah, that... I don't think you can actually dodge that. If you can, that's great, but uh... There I go with the butters again. Seriously, I gotta stop doing the butt as. It's like in my speech class, where you're not supposed to 
like in my speeches, we're not supposed to use us, us, and like, and so, because of, I forget exactly what they were called, but it's like, you shouldn't use them as like unnecessary pauses or whatever. I think whatever was one of them, and I completely forgot about that part. Oh well. Uh, as I was trying to say, yeah, but uh, this has become a pro kind of a problem like So Yaz was earlier. Thankfully, I'm not saying So Yeah as much as I used to, but but uh, is kind of a problem. And why won't you die, Snowman? There we go. And yes, I did see the Bentley bonus area too, but uh, oh, that's right, that is the one where you get the skill point. It is very annoying, but uh, I think I might make that a separate episode because it is uh, one of those more annoying skill points and more annoying eggs to get. It isn't that it's long or hard. Or tedious is just that the game or what they make you do is is something that's like weird like it's luck based that's what it is it's uh it's both luck and strategy together I would say it's uh I'm trying to think of how to put it it's like Bentley is boxing with a Sasquatch or something and you're supposed to try Thanks to beat him in X number of minutes before he... Or you're supposed to beat him like four times in order to get the skill point, I think. And the fourth time you have to beat him like a few minutes or something. And... I'm gonna get through that probably in the next episode because... Not only would it be a long episode, but also it's just something I'd rather not do right now. And in this one, we're going into doing... Kitty hockey, I think it's called, or cat hockey. Yes, we're playing hockey with cats. And we have to go against this jerk, which you can easily freeze. So you can actually cheat in this game, but in order to start, you have to the talk no. to a traditional game of cat hockey. But I think I, knew I it was cat hockey. my flipper during training. Would you mind taking my place? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. Yeah, it's very easy. You need to get about three or five points. I couldn't read that there. But the only real thing I would have to... Like, the only real recommendation I'll have to give is that every time this guy's about to freeze you or unfreeze you, you freeze him. And the way that you score is by freezing him. And somehow he has the touch of ice. That makes sense. And this is a very annoying one. This is one of my more hated um, eggs because of this right here, because of the ice. And the uh, trolls become very, 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 very tedious. Yes, I know I just said that a lot, but that's how annoying this is. And yes, yes, no, no, yes, maybe. Come on, don't get it in there. Oh, I guess it was five points and not three, okay. I feel much better now. Okay, ice kitty, come on, yes. Just freeze him. Yes, yes, I have a chance here. I have a chance to win. I am kind of sorry if my commentary sucks right now because I am trying to concentrate on something that killed me as a kid. It didn't literally kill me because I'm not a ghost. And. Oh, that was close. If I can just get this, I know I can win. No. Dummy. There. Suck on that Rhinoc thing with ice touch. 
evil Rhinoc. Yes! Well done. I win! I think you deserve to keep the Champion's Cup. Which apparently is an egg. I don't know how old Champion's Cup equals egg, and... I'm glad I actually showed this one. I like this one. <laughs> it was like, I got fodder! How did that come from an egg? Oh, is this dragon in the sheep disguise? Well, that's fascinating. See, the last thing I'm gonna do in this episode... Eh, bit, 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 bit. The last thing I'm gonna do in this episode is show that very kinda hard to get egg that I was talking about, and the uh, gems that are really annoying. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this, but basically, it's kinda like... Again, I do not know how to explain this, but it's, you're trying to get to travel on the rooftops. I'm trying to think how to put it. It's like you're trying to travel on the rooftops, and it's very annoying. That's all I can really say. It's very annoying because you have to glide at a certain place, and time. it takes timing and practice. And I did it a lot as a kid, and so I, like I I guess I should just leave, just take care of all the stuff I'm going to say about how I was a kid and say, I played this game so much as a kid that all the earlier levels are nothing and all the later levels are meh. Like, I kind of get them and I kind of don't. Some of them are hard, some of them aren't. This is one of those kind of hard to do for me. Mostly because of this right here, which was actually much easier than I remember. And the upcoming bonus stage thing that I was talking about that basically has you boxing a giant yeti. And this, now it may look like I'm fighting a losing battle here, but you're actually supposed to get up here somehow. Don't ask me how, I just jump repeatedly until I get up there. Like that. And then I just do one of these charge jumps. And there you go. And you're supposed to get over here and glide over to this little plateau right here. Now you want to get every single gem in this little plateau. Scan it over once, twice, maybe three times in order to make sure you got every gem so that way you don't have to go through that again. Trust me, that was one of the more annoying things when I was a kid was trying to have to do this over and over and over again. I don't have to do that now, because I'm pretty sure I got every gem here, just as soon as I get the ones out here. And checking one more time, so I'm careful. And then once you got all the gems here, I think you, yeah, you come over here to get a few more gems. Be careful, so you don't fall. And then once you got all the gems here, you glide over to this little ice island thing and there you go and that will do it for this episode and I'll sign off in a minute I'm just going to get to the excuse me I'm just gonna get to the bitly bonus stage and I'll sign off there again like I said it's gonna be probably a bore it's probably gonna be a boring episode because you're just gonna be seeing two yetis punching you actually that sounds pretty fun well, for me, it's not going to be fun, because it's very annoying. But, uh, I'll just... I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.